what's up? This is Marcos with Future Studio University. Welcome to another video on our Happy Series. Within this video, we will implement our own custom Happy plugin. And I will show you how to implement all the required functions and attributes that are necessary to implement a valid Happy plugin. So before diving into the details, you should know that you can find the tutorial for an easy read and the code snippets to copy and paste them on our website, it's the first thing in the description below, so check it out. Alright, we will use the FutureFlix sample app and implement our own custom plugin. Let's create a new plugin folder called My Custom Plugin. The creative name is fine. So let's create a new index.js file. Okay. Let's go with strict mode. And what you need to export is a register function that has three parameters. The first thing is a server instance from the connection where you're registering the plugin. The second parameter is an, let me type it correctly, options object. And the last parameter is a next callback, which indicates that you are ready with the functionality that you want to implement and the next plugin can be registered on that connection. All right, so within the plugin itself, because you have access to the server instance, you can do whatever you want, like adding a route or register another plugin or extend the request lifecycle. So you can do whatever you want. Usually what we do is we have a list of routes that we are registering with their specific route handlers. But yeah, it's up to you what you want to do with this actual plugin. So let's say you want to just add a new route. You can do it directly with this one and pass an object. You know, it's the method, the path. Oh, sorry, just jumped in another object explorer down here. All right. Okay, so that's what you can do. You can reply a message. And now at the end, you need to tell Happy with the next callback that the next plugin can be registered. So what about the options object? We don't specifically need them here because we are just registering a new route. And let's lock them to show you how the options object is structured and how it's passed to the plugin itself when registering it on an individual connections. So before going on and registering it to the server, I want to show you how we structure the plugins because I mentioned it before. Let's go with the user profile plugin. You can see that we require a routes file, which is located besides the index.js file. And we want to render a view. So that's why we set vision as a server dependency. Then we register the routes, just log that the plugin is registered successfully and tell Happy to register the next plugin. Within the routes, you can see it's a list that gets exported and has a configuration for individual routes. And to see the handler, which is this one, it's just an object containing the profile handler. It requires an authentication strategy called session. And within the handler, we are just returning a view, which is the profile view. So kind of simple. You can do more complex stuff like extending the request lifecycle, which I already mentioned. Let's jump into this in a second. For now, let's register the plugin to our happy server. You can see that there are individual plugins we are already registering. Let's register our new custom plugin. There it is. All right, so let's start the server and see how it goes. Let me see. Ah, yeah, well, I talked about it and didn't implement it. So let's implement the required part, which is the attributes. And the register.attributes object needs to contain two things, 
which is a name of the plugin, which can be, yeah, let's do it like this. And it requires a version like 1.0.0. These are the two requirements. You can also export uh, package.json, which you can reference. If you have seen other happy plugins, they usually export a package.json file because they package all the functionality of an individual plugin in a separate actual plugin. So usually you have a, a specific NPM module that is a plugin itself and that's why you're exporting the package.json file which contains the version and the name and anything else that is required. So that's what you need to export the register function with the three parameters and the register.attributes object. Okay, let's check again if the server starts. Well, yes. So you have seen that there's an object in the middle of the log messages, which is the options object from our plugin. Let's pass options to verify that they get passed down to the plugin itself. Let's say we are passing an option called Marcos and is developer is true. All right, let's restart the server and let's see if they get logged correctly. Ah, yeah, close it. Okay, you can see that the options object is passed correctly. You can use it within your plugin and yeah, benefit from it. All right, so let me elaborate a bit more on the options objects, which is usually used within plugins that extend the request lifecycle within Happy. You're usually extending the Happy server by using the ext method and providing the extension point. So let's have a quick look at our Happy sheet sheet for the request lifecycle. You can download it from the link below in the comments, check it out. It's for free. It's a very nice image that you can use and learn which values and parameters are available at which stage in the happy request lifecycle. So let's see. You have individual extension points like the on request, on pre auth, on post auth, on pre handler, on post handler, and the on pre response. So you can see that within on request, there's an existing request object, but you don't even know which route is passed. So JSONP isn't available, the cookies aren't passed yet, and you don't have access to any authentication credentials or the request parameters like path create parameters or the request payloads. So you need to make sure that you're extending the correct extension point in the request lifecycle. So you have access to the correct values that are, you're looking for. Okay, let's go back to WebStorm. So let's say you want to extend on prehandler. Okay, jumping back, you can see that on prehandler has all the values available, the validation already passed for your route handlers. So in case they it didn't pass, it will jump automatically to, a, to, a, to the fail action handler, which we will cover in another video. But for now, you should know that for successful validation, you will have access to every variable within the request in the on pre handler. All right. So, and there you can use the request and reply interfaces to do the actual manipulation of the request that you are looking for. All right. So usually you are going to manipulate any data or add any data to the request. So do whatever you want. You can check out individual plugins that we already have created. It's a plugin to make your development life easier by intercepting any 500 issues on your server, implementation issues, by providing the stack trace directly as a nice view within the browser. And you can also see a plugin where the geolocation based on the IP address of the request is determined within the background. We hope this video gives you a good idea on how to use and how to create custom happy plugins. Plugins are an essential core feature within the Happy framework and make use of plugins because they are really great and they are separating concerns and isolate them within individual plugins. So you can do really nice things with individual plugins and yeah, hopefully you get a grasp on how to implement them. 
let's shortly review what you need to know. So you have to export a register function that accepts three parameters, the server instance, the options object and the callback function that you need to call at the end of your plugin when everything is registered and added to the server instance that you want to do within your plugin. And ultimately, you need to export a register.attributes object, which contains at least a name and a version. And yeah, that's it. We hope you learned a lot within this video. Give it a like or give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you learned something, subscribe to this channel for more videos. Enjoy your day, enjoy coding and make it rock.